Right, this, this little video clip we will call um, Fruit Problems and we're now at a garden centre where I'm doing an Apple Day demonstration and you can see here there's a, a lot of diseases that either I've grown skillfully or people have brought in. Um, obviously it's better to see things on the tree but we've got quite a variety here so we'll do this and we can do some, some, some in the orchard uh, later on perhaps. Right, our first problem, the most common problem perhaps in North Wales, is scab. You see that? That is a scabby apple. Grew it myself. You can see here these leaves are scabs on the fruit, on the leaves rather. If you've got scabs on your leaves, you're reducing the photosynthetic potential of the leaf. The, the tree will be less vigorous. If you've got scabs on the fruit, they're ugly your children won't eat them. But obviously, if it's a cooking apple that you're going to... Um, the, if it's a cooking apple, you're going to peel it. It doesn't really matter. But because scab is dead corky material, as, as the apple gets bigger, the dead corky material can't expand and it cracks. Can you see that crack there? Zoom in there, Sarah, there you go. Um, so once you've got a cracked fruit like this now, it won't store. So if you've got a Bramley, for example, that normally you would keep until March, it will just rot in storage. Um, and we'll look at, we'll have other videos about prevention. This today we'll just do for identification. So this is scab, Venturia inequalis. Um, this here is a symptom of apple rust mite. It's and the same if you have um, any other mite like red spider mite. They're sucking they're sucking the sap out of the out of the wood, depriving these growing tips of sap, and they curl up characteristically, curling up upwards and inwards. That's apple rust mite. You can uh, this horrible little specimen here has got rosy apple aphid if you've got small rosy prematurely ripening fruit very deformed rosy apple aphid this poor little thing here if we look where it's arrowed we will see little black dots can you see those tiny little black dots this is called fly speck. It's um, it's a secondary minor fungal disease uh, caused by when you've got a very damp growing conditions. Another secondary fungal disease is called sooty blotch, which is this just general sooty dirtiness caused again by um, damp growing conditions. These leaves here. They're a day old now, so they're drying up. They're very speckled and spatchy, um, different colours. That's usually caused by some kind of virus. Quite car And if you look at your books, you can see that different viruses cause different, different characteristic patterns. Over here, this here is woolly aphid. You often get that growing round. Bit of a dog fight over there. Um, you often get woolly aphid growing around the roots of a tree and it's an aphid like a green fly but rather than curl the leaf up for, for protection it's producing this woolly material. Uh, it's, sorry, it's woolly but it's actually made of wax so if we dab this with our chainsaw mix or paraffin or something like that it will instantly dissolve the wax and these things will then die in agony. Uh, they suck the sap, so reduce the vigour of the tree. This branch here, very characteristic North Wales problem, is suffering from sheep damage. If you've had sheep in, they nip, they nip the leaf off and leave the PTO. It's not in your books. Problem in North Wales, obviously. If you've got young trees growing and you pull them and they pop out of the ground rather unexpectedly or fall over and they look the root looks like it's been gnawed by an underground little beaver 
its short-tailed field voles. These are a protected species. You can kill them with rat poison. Um, not theoretically. Not, uh, theoretically, thank you. <laughs> if you've got an apple with the core eaten out and a bit of a tunnel there, um, with a big old maggot, that is codlin moth. Not very common in North Wales, uh, but people will sell you, um, they will sell you grease bands against codlin moth. Lots of people buy grease bands that they don't need, but I'll go on to that um, in the next video. Am I getting too long? Okay, nearly there. This is canker. You can see that it's, it's a, uh, a fungal infection that, will, that is girdling this branch and it will soon, there's another piece here, there's, that branch is being girdled, this top bit is already dead. Canker is a disease of the wood, and you can see there it's pustulating, giving off more spores to infect the trees next door. Finally, these, these, this fruit here has just cracked. Some varieties are more prone to cracking. You especially get that on years where it's very wet, very dry, it keeps changing. Over here, last one, last one, we've got apple sawfly. You can see these saw-like scars caused by the, the young sawfly that ate this fruit when it was little. It attacked it, but it, it was unsuccessful. This fruit is perfectly edible, but not very attractive. Um, these leaves here, late on in the year, you you get a you can see there. These are leaf miners. They've been mined. They're a mite that mine a small hole through the leaf. Um, it's a problem that you get, but you don't don't worry about too much. Right, that'll do. Thanks, Sarah.